Mexico City has grown from being the center of the Aztec Empire to a must-see destination, attracting 259 million tourists every year. History buffs enjoy its many museums and ancient ruins. Foodies enjoy a chance to shop for fresh produce in open markets or find unique Mexican dishes. Adventure lovers hike to the top of its temples or take a trek to see volcanoes. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the best things to do in Mexico City. The Zocalo Also known as the Plaza de la Constitución, El Zocalo is the main public square of Mexico City. It features several nearby attractions. You'll get a chance to see the National Palace, Metropolitan Cathedral, and other federal buildings. You can also enjoy public events and festivals or concerts, including the annual religious events during Holy Week and for Corpus Christi. Visit at sunset to watch Mexican soldiers take down the flag in the middle of the square. The Ruins of the Templo Mayor This site was once the religious center of the Aztec civilization, as the city of Tecnoctitlan. It was destroyed by Spanish conquistadors in the 14th century, but unearthed again in 1978. Today, it's been designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Unlike most historical sites, it shows signs of the ways the building changed as new leaders rose to power. The adjoining museum is full of over 7,000 artifacts and other cultural information, and new discoveries are added every year. Chapultepec Forest This site is also known as Bosque de Chapultepec. It's considered the lungs of Mexico City and is one of the largest urban parks in the world at over 1,600 acres. Its three sections contain a lake, botanical gardens, hiking trails, the former presidential palace, military monuments, restaurants, an amusement park, a zoo, and more. You'll also see three of the city's best museums, including the National Museum of Anthropology. You might even catch a glimpse of the ancient Chapultepec Castle. Palacio de Bellas Artes the Palace of Fine Arts, as it's known in English, is a spot considered to be the cultural center of Mexico City, and its romantic atmosphere makes it a favorite for couples. The purple jacarandas bloom in spring, but it provides beautiful views all year round. It also offers various entertainment options hosted in the National Theater, including theater, dance, opera, and more. Its art museum contains murals by Rufino Tamayo, and the National Museum of Architecture sits on the top floor. Palacio Nacional The National Palace of Mexico City is an ornate building that contains the entire executive branch of the Mexican government. Its grounds are dotted with beautiful gardens, murals, and fountains. It's open to visitors Tuesday through Sunday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., and admission is free. Chochimilco This site offers a range of experiences to suit any visitor. Ride through the ancient canals on a colorful boat known as a trajinera to see the wildlife preserve and floating gardens. You may even be lucky enough to get a boat that includes a performance by a mariachi band or one that sells food. For a spookier trip, take a tour of the hair-raising Isle of Dolls. Whatever you choose, remember to respect the natural beauty of this UNESCO World Heritage Site. Coyoacan this spot is one of the most charming colonias in Mexico City. Most tourists visit to see the Frida Kahlo Museum or for a chance to visit the celebrated artist's home, Casa Azul. You can also visit the Museo Casa Leon Trotsky Museum, Diego Rivera Museo Anahuacali, and the Museo Nacional de las Culturas Populares. When you're finished, walk around the Coyoacan's gardens, courtyards, squares, and colonial homes. Visit the central Plaza Hidalgo and stop by the Café El Jarocho to try some food. Roma Norte Condesa This section of Mexico City is full of restaurants, cafes, boutique shops, and parks. It also hosts regular community events, shows, and festivals. Be sure to check out Avenida Amsterdam, a horse track transformed into an Art Deco street adorned with lush gardens. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Vucation for more. And stick around to find out more of the best things to do and see in Mexico City. Teotihuacan This ancient Aztec civilization sits an hour outside the city, but it's easy to reach by public bus. 
visit in the early morning to avoid the large crowds of tourists that also want to visit this historic site. The Sun Pyramid is the largest of its many temples, and climbing to the top provides an impressive view. Grab a map to guide you to other sites such as the Temple of the Feathered Serpent, the Palace of the Plumed Butterfly, and the Museo de la Sitio. Tepoztlan This is one of over 100 Pueblos Magicos, or magical towns, in Mexico City. It has a local market with pre-Hispanic foods. If you're feeling adventurous, you could also take a 1.5-hour hike up to Tepozteco for a chance to see the coati, an adorable native mammal. Paso de Cortes This long pass sits between two volcanoes. Popocatepetl is active, while Itztachihuatl is dormant. It takes a long hike to reach them, but the trek is worth it. It's best to bring a tent to stay overnight to give yourself time to rest and a chance to see the beautiful sunrise. If you want a less strenuous visit, you can book a room at Amecameca instead. Puebla This is the fourth largest city in Mexico, but still manages to feel like a small town. It's one of the oldest areas in Mexico City and has plenty of historic sites and museums to visit. It's also the best place to try tacos arabes, a dish that puts shawarma-like meat in pita-style tortillas. Cholula This Pueblo Magico sits outside of Puebla. It's also known as the City of Churches because it contains over 365 of them. One of the most popular is La Iglesia de Nuestra Señora. The Great Pyramid of Cholula, the world's largest pyramid by volume, sits directly underneath it. Basilica de Santa Maria de Guadalupe The world's third most visited religious site was built in 1531 on Tepeyac Hill to honor the Virgin Mary of Guadalupe. A new basilica was built on the same plaza in the 70s after the original was damaged. It features an ancient church, gift shop, museum, and library. Catedral Metropolitana Mexico's national cathedral sits on the north end of Zocalo. It was built between 1573 and 1813 after the conquest of Tenochtitlan. It contains five naves, 14 chapels, several catacombs, and a painting by Bartolome Esteban Murillo. It's open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day, and admission is free. El Ángel de la Independencia This bronze statue of the Greek goddess Victoria is one of Mexico City's most beloved symbols. It was built to honor Mexico's victory in its war for independence from Spain, but stands today as a mausoleum for war heroes. Monumento a la Revolución This site is the largest triumphal arch in the world. You can also visit the nearby museum and find the remains of Mexican revolutionaries Pancho Villa and Lazaro Cardenas. Parque México This park sits in the Condesa neighborhood. It's full of greenery and surrounded by Art Deco buildings, such as its blue and white clock tower. Ciudad Universitaria This incredible UNESCO World Heritage Site is large enough to be considered a mini-city. It contains university buildings, a sculpture park, the MUAC Art Gallery, the Biblioteca Central, and more. Kiosco Morisco This Islamic-inspired bandstand offers daily lessons in martial arts and dance. It's also close to another notable site, the Biblioteca Vasconcelos. Torre Latinoamericana this site is a wonderful place to get food and drinks in the city. It also offers spectacular views of the Palacio de Bellas Artes and Parque Alameda. Plaza de las Tres Culturas As the name suggests, this site brings together the three eras of Mexico City's cultural history in a beautiful way. It includes Mesoamerican pyramids, the colonial Templo de Santiago, and the modern Torre de Tlatelolco. Cineteca Nacional This theater has a large white exterior and houses a range of Mexican cinema relics. It also hosts indie films and has regular film cycles. It's a favorite of cinema fans, but also a worthwhile site for anyone traveling to Mexico City to visit. Arena Mexico This is one of the best sites in all of Mexico City to watch a Lucha Libre wrestling match. They're hosted year-round and are popular with locals and tourists alike. Markets 
The Mercado de la Merced is the place to go for the feel of a traditional Mexican market. There's a wide range of fresh food for sale, but be careful to avoid getting lost. The Lagunilla Flea Market has been in operation since the pre-Hispanic era. It's an important trading post, but is limited to one lot and only open Sundays from 9 to 12. More museums. Historic Mexico City has over 150 museums to keep you busy. This includes quite a few more than the ones that sit at the sites we've mentioned. The Museo Casa Luis Barragan sits at the former home of architect Luis Barragan. It's colorful and full of natural light with an impressive garden outside. It was also designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2004. But keep in mind you'll have to make a reservation at least two months in advance to get in. It's open every day except Tuesday and admission is $21. Museo Somaya hosts a collection of over 66,000 pieces of art. The Museum of Memory and Tolerance is a hands-on education center built to teach the consequences of intolerance and indifference. Mexico City has cultivated plenty of worthwhile attractions over its long, rich history. It has enough delicious food, ancient monuments, and modern entertainment to ensure that visitors never get bored. Have you visited any of these famous Mexico City attractions? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.